It's actually four because there's a break in the video. Oh. Sorry about that too. Um, so yeah, this is the bonus round where we kind of we did a decent job in that last video just now, <laughs> but there might have been a couple things we wanted to say that we weren't quite awake enough to say at the time. Yes. So let's say them, Lizzie. Oh, of course he starts with me. <laughs> I I found out the characters that I know. It's pretty much these two. Okay, They're these the, are the main characters. characters. We know. <laughs> I don't know who the little girl following them is. Obviously, she's the main antagonist. But um, yeah, I wish we had book one. We still don't have book one, so I'm like, I, this, yeah, I that, won't read it without book that's one. That's the real tragedy. We own, <laughs> I think I own like I'm, I'm almost like, twenty volumes of Bleach, but I haven't read a single one of them because I don't own book one yet. We might have to just go to Barnes and Nobles. And I'm not paying ten dollars for Bleach, <laughs> not because I don't respect or like Bleach. I just well when you get this I'm whole frugal. pile yeah for... when, I mean we got yeah we got the eleven volumes for eleven dollars it's hard to yes. then pay ten dollars for one volume yes. even though it shouldn't be then that only equals out to like two dollars per volume right but that, that's true but it's just like with Claymore I haven't read too much but I've read enough to know Witcher series yeah like if you like Witcher you'll love this. Claymore kicked ass. After we uh, bought the... I don't, I don't think I had read all the Claymores. Sorry, I wiped my eye there. <laughs> no worries. Um, I don't think I had read all the Claymores when we did the last video, but I have now up till, I think, seven. And I can say with confidence that Claymore is definitely not appreciated enough. I don't know why that is. Because, I mean, look at that. A girl facing off against a lion. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't... I mean, even within the context of the story, I have no idea why she's... I mean, is it a demon li lion? Possibly a demon lion of some kind. That would be but, cool. You know, I mean... And she's in the snow. Like, just her adventures. Like, forget it is that very she's witcher. a demon. She's a woman She's not. Traveling. She's a witcher. Wit uh, if you don't know what a witcher, witcher is... She's a claymore. She's a witcher. <laughs> <laughs> she's a witcher. Oh, that's such a cool shot, though. It's a really... Um, I actually like Witcher, the game. It's not... Yeah. And we didn't have to get these books. Yeah. This was actually more of a gift from Lizzie. Aww. And I really appreciate that. Because Claymore's badass, and I really want to finish it. But we're it's okay. I make him get books all the time for me. Like <laughs> all the like Miss Peregrine. Miss <laughs> Peregrine, and then those two omnibuses were probably the most like I had to force to get those. I thought I bought this one. I don't know. I bought this one. Did you bring that over? To show me. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Here. Get a get a zoom on in this one. Just get all all on it. So, anyways, I did want to say, um, cause. You know, this is like the third Clamp book we've picked up. Uh, Clamp was originally a band of four women. You know, I was, I was working gonna, together to create I was gonna this say heroin. I was going to say, because you said a band of four, and then I was going to say heroin addicts. <laughs> but heroin would have worked because it's women, right? So yeah. heroines, like heroes, female plural. Yes, um, but not much is known about their personality because they kind of kept secret. Like There's Dead one Mouse series that I haven't really read Punk by Man. them. Um, Just spoilers. Which is the called Ch <laughs> Chibits or whatever. Chubits. It's Chubits. It's those cute little characters that no one seems to cosplay anymore. Anymore? Was there a time I haven't when seen Chubits it. was a big cosplay uh, thing? It was a huge thing. Watcher, if, if Chobits was, if you if you ever cosplayed Chobits, or know anyone that has cosplayed Chobits, yeah, let us know in the comments. Cause I don't believe there's her. There's so much I don't he wants to her. say about Love Hina. I love Love Hina. Yes, it's etchy, and by etchy that means that, like you know, every twenty. There's a page, lot of sexy accidents. There is a lot of sexy accidents in in the time honored tradition of The Simpsons. I don't know if you've seen that episode. There's an episode where Lisa and Bart get a pool, and one of the boys at the pool is like. Lisa, why don't you join my family in the wine country where we'll have all sorts of romantic misunderstandings? <laughs> and that's what Love Hina reminds me of. It's just a book full of romantic misunderstandings. Misunderstand this. I mean, I do. Lizzie, do you misunderstand this cover? Uh, yes. All the time. But yeah, Love Hina, it's cute. It's about a girl and a guy and, you know, whether or not they're compatible... It's yet, it's yet to be seen. I know. I've seen, but... It's also about a promise. It's about a promise. Yeah, actually, it's really sweet. <laughs> so you hear the promise, and it actually does sound like a sweet um, story. The promise is that our main character, Keitaro, when he was younger, he made a promise as a kid to another little girl that he didn't 
He doesn't remember her name or what her or what she looked like 100%, but he knows he made a promise to this girl that when they grew up they would go to Tokyo U together. And the little girl had told him that if two people that liked each other went to Tokyo U together, that they would live happily ever after. So she says, Keitaro, let's go to Tokyo U together and live happily ever after. And growing up, Kitaro never really had any, you know, girlfriends or any friends that were girls. So he kind of clung to this promise that he made back in his childhood. And he made it to possibly one of the girls that, that he meets living in this girl's dormitory. I don't know. I haven't found out yet. <laughs> but it's the journey. It's the journey of him trying to, one, get into Tokyo U so he can try to find some... And he, this guy doesn't have a lot of, qu- like, quality... Like, he's not smart. He's not smart. And he's really clumsy. Sometimes reminds me of... He gets himself into so many... Like, <laughs> this man has so walked in on... He's walked in on so many people, you know, in the bath. He's walked in on people when they're in the bathroom. He's accidentally spilled water on people on the one day they weren't wearing a bra. This guy just gets into all kinds of sexual misunderstandings. Well, I mean, at one point he falls out of his... Uh, they have this outside bath. And he falls down into it when all the, Just all the girls are there. From the second floor right <laughs> into the middle of the out, outdoor bath. And he gets he gets in there by lying. and then it, Yeah, he which, tells them he's, a, well, he's already a Tokyo U student, well, even though he's not. his aunt tells him that. Uh, oh, he tells them that, and he's like uh, trying to correct it, but because he's so awkward, he just clumsily like falls more into the lie. I feel like just flipping through these pages, you can already see a couple of these misunderstandings but but hold on <laughs> i love this series i gotta say i really do love this series um even though the first couple volumes um have less once you start to get into like let me, give me a later volume this one works once you get into like the i la- haven't read it because it's 14 volumes <laughs> once you get into later volumes these pages get pretty dense with dialogue and panels i mean Oh, the the first few are full of dialogue as well, and just like there's little side notes. There's just different, like um. Each one of these volumes feels like five or six episodes from an anime, and they're all. I don't know. It's really cute. I like it. I, I don't know what else to say right now. We're gonna do a love Hina, you know, video eventually. So we don't want to say it all here. <laughs> but I love love Hina. I yes. think I I think right now on planet Earth, or at least no. In Los Angeles, I think I am right now, this very second, the biggest Love Hina fan in existence in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, he even thought about buying the DVD today. Yeah, but the I'm box gonna, set collection. Today. I was gonna buy it, but it was thirty five bucks, and uh, I found it on Amazon for like fifteen. So yeah, and no then point. he found the Love Hina books for a dollar, and he was like, "Wait, I got to have Let's, these." Let me just I'm say like... this: the fandom for Love Hina right now for me is going so deep that I almost wanted to buy all fourteen of these books a second time. Yeah. I don't feel it, that it for a lot creepy. of things. <laughs> it was creepy. It was creepy. First of all, at a dollar. I paid for all these at basically okay. a dollar. I wanted to buy the entire 14 set for a dollar. Maybe to pass on to a friend, like Ryder. Yeah, Not Ryder. Okay. Maybe Steven. You know? Uh, Steven, st- we'd never get these back. <laughs> if we gave Steven Love Hina, he'd never give these back. And if I don't we know. did, they'd be crumpled up and gripped heavily. <laughs> so. Take these, put these away. Oh, okay. Just over there. Just, just over just here. Just out of the frame, yeah. All right. Um, we didn't really say a whole lot about Monster. Monster was, um, yeah, this finishes my collection of Monster. 15, 16, these are upside down. We finished a collection. There's not really a whole lot to say about Monster because I don't want to spoil the story, but suffice to say this is an amazing manga by Naoki Urasawa. Um, he's done 20th Century Boys, Monster, Pluto. He's a big badass in the manga industry. And this is one of our first series with him, right? Yeah, this is the first one we've completed. 20th Century Boys is in the middle of being completed, but it, we're way off. That's like a 24 yeah. volume manga, and we've only got the first four. But Monster, we got all 18 volumes now. And like I said and we, before we have... the bonus feature video, okay, yeah. this one is really cool because they were made in the perfect editions as well. Here's a shot of the bindings of the perfect editions. They're fine in the perfect editions, but... As you can see right there, I like the individuals a little more. They're kind of bulky a little bit to hold. Uh, I kind of stumble through them. I try to... You know, you you want to... The singles are better to hold. People say the faces that Naoki Urasawa draws are very, very emotive. And I gotta say I agree because 
You can look at some They are so realistic looking. I'm struggling to find focus because I'm trying to. There you go. That's a <laughs> yeah, hold that for two seconds. Alright. Sorry, my go. hand's weird. <laughs> yeah, Naoki Urasawa's face is very emotive. It's a very nice. It's a very clever story from what I've read so far. Again, I say that like I've read the entire thing. This but is about the guy who becomes a doctor. Yeah, I guess we'll give a really small summary of Monster. Monster is about. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna turn blue in the face when I do this because I'm gonna really try to do this fast, but I'm also gonna try to do this accurately. Okay. And it's been a little bit since I've read Monster, but Monster's about a doctor named Doctor Tenma. He ended up um, performing surgery on an important patient, and note the word important because his hospital prioritized um, performing surgery to save the life of a patient that came in, but they prioritized that more famous patient over the life of. A poor laborer and um, Dr. Tenma you know he thought that I just gotta do it my, my boss tells me you know I'm here I'm a surgeon the best surgeon in, in Japan my job is to save lives doesn't matter whose life I'm saving as long as I'm doing what I'm told and saving the life that I'm told to save but as he continues to do this kind of practice he ends up um, with a choice to either save the life of the mayor who had just gotten under a car accident and needed immediate surgery or save the life of a kid who had just been brought into his, um, into his hospital. Oh, I'm saving the kid. And needed, it needed to be saved. But the kid came in first, though. The mayor was second. Yeah. And, um, Dr. Tenma was already ready and, you know, dressed to do surgery on the kid. And they burst into the, into the room saying you needed to perform the surgery on the mayor because the mayor is more important than the kid. Well, were they both... Wasn't it one of the... They were both in, like, a critical condition? They or? were both in a critical condition. The, the kid they were, the kid was shot in the head. Oh, yeah. And the mayor had some kind of issue. I think he had, like, cardiac arrest or something. Or something that required surgery. So suffice to say, he saves the kid. And there's a lot of consequences that come with disobeying the head of the hospital. You know, Dr. Tenma loses his position as um, chief of surgery. He... Um, the mayor, pa spoilers. I mean, it's not a big. It's this the beginning of the book, but the mayor passes, and, and um, um, the kid is saved. But the big question becomes: Was the kid really the right one to save? Things happen five to ten years later. Serial killings are starting to happen, and somehow those serial killings ten years later could be tied back to Tenma. Yeah. And that choice he made that day of to save that kid instead of the mayor. No, I've only read the first beginning like the really first few pages of it um it reminds me of the wire just in the intricacy of the story and how it's a very realistic story you know it, it, this that that manga monster is definitely not like I'm trying to think a bleach not that i know much about bleach but so monster is a grounded story is bleach souls or spirits or something <sighs> all i know is that people say and this is gonna sound really weird i'm gonna try to clarify as it clarify it as soon as i can but someone okay. said don't read on past the SS arc not the SS that everyone knows and that I know apparently it's like soul something soul sucker soul something it's like hmm. soul survivor arc whatever it is hmm. people say don't read past it did they tell you a chapter number to stop at they told me an uh, episode number so everyone oh. that, everyone that I've seen online and everyone I've talked to talks about it strictly from an anime perspective I know nothing about the anime and I really don't want to watch the anime since I've heard yeah. it's nothing but filler well but the mangas yeah. I like to get to the source material and the mangas are exactly that so yeah I wish I had more to say about Bleach but I wish I had once more to I say. get the first one I wish I could read one of the 11 <laughs> volumes that I purchased rather than having <laughs> to just look at them like this but no, I can't find one for five dollars, so I can't read the freaking. I manga. mean, you can, but I know you won't I was even thinking about maybe starting anything. it too and just going. Yeah, I, I've tried that before. At that point, why not it's, just pay ten dollars to get one? I maybe see if the library has the first one and then buy steal it. it later. No. Well, you just go to Barnes no, and Noble and read. No stealing. Um. Yeah, we really are kind of just doing like a second attempt at this but yeah. we're going to include both of them GTO we're going to go fast because we don't want this to be a 50 minute video right GTO know nothing about it but guess what $15 for these five books Whee! classroom assassination yeah it's about a teacher much like assassination classroom is about a teacher but really not not a whole lot like that because assassination classroom is about a tentacle teacher this seems to be about a, a human, human teacher one. but a badass human teacher so it sounds it looks kind of gangsterish. we don't know nothing about this so if you have anything to say about GTO if you have any 
Like, did we make a good choice buying GTO? Do you like GTO? Is GTO your favorite manga? Let us know in the comments. And I think lastly, or I mean, lastly, we did Claymore. Did we do Claymore? We did Claymore. We did Monster. We did um, Bleach. We did Love Hina. We did GTO. Um, we didn't do Doubt, but like, there's not a whole lot to say about Doubt. Doubt we got for dollar per book. And it's kind of like a girl trying to gain confidence in herself. You know, out of everything that we've bought so far, I think this is the very first manga, and this is a historic manga for me, because it's the very first manga I've ever read and been pretty meh on. Oh, wow. Everything else I've ever read that I've owned, I've been like, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, this is great. This is good for what it is. This is just kind of meh. I'm only in, like, you know, the middle of the first volume, but... Um, yeah. I don't know much about it, but you know what? At a dollar a book, we'll get yeah. at least one or two videos I out mean, of this series. So. it's a Shujio, so it deserves a chance. It does. I, I believe every book deserves a chance. I can't wait until you can finally read some of these so I can tell you guys the story without... Yeah, you can't tell me anything about this yeah, because I, I know nothing about I, this. All I can say is Chinese Zodiac. And, like, he's probably, if he sees a spoiler, there's animals involved. Do you like somehow. Fruits Basket? viewer I was say reader <laughs> but yeah if you're watching this you're probably a reader do you like Fruit Basket let Fruit us know Basket's why Fruit Basket's good I Ms. love Peregrine, it Miss Peregrine we already talked about this a little bit but yeah you know I, mean, I, I was harsh on it but I do want to read this we own Harry Potter I have no problem owning Miss Peregrine I thought that the movie looked like it had potential like you know it was just a typical yeah bad adaptation that happens so much with books to movies that there's a bad adaptation so I don't really blame this I mean, series for that movie's mistakes. It's it's a book with kids with powers. I just X -Men. I love that. I love it. <laughs> love it already. So. <laughs> and I think that's it. I think that's yeah. pretty much all we had to I say. I think that's all for the bonus round. I don't know if we've said it before, but give me Black Hat. Black Hat. One more time. Just One more Black time. Hat. Black Hat. I don't know what this is about. I bought these a dollar a book. If you know anything about Black Cat, please tell me something in the comments, because I know nothing about this. Have you found book one yet? No, I haven't. I haven't found book one yet. I know it exists on Amazon for like 10 bucks, but just tell me if this is a series worth reading. And I know it's a long series, but I, I have to have heard nothing about it. So just tell me if this is worth reading. And I'll believe you, because <laughs> I just got, I, I got nothing that I know. I know nothing about this series, so. And that's the end of the bonus round. Is it the end of the yeah, bonus round? Yes. What's behind so. you? Love oh, Hina. Just, just love Hina. Just love Hina. Well, it's never and just love Hina. a bunch of little babies. Hello, little baby. Oh. I can't do his laugh properly. You have been recording your audio, right? Yes, Good. I have. So you're going to get a bunch of spikes, probably. Perfect. Whenever I laugh. Look. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Finland Saga. Are you showing them your room's Is mess? <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Don't show them Alice in the Country of Hearts. But here, I've never gotten a really <laughs> okay. clean shot of this. Reader, we're going to leave you on this image. What Poor is little Akira. 30th century... Or 30th... Uh, 30th year anniversary of, um, edition. Completely dejected. Being treated as a... Essentially a nightstand. Hey, but it's holding Link up. I think that's very significant, you know? I think it's very significant, it's too. It's very... Honestly. Very strong. Well, Lizzie, <laughs> say goodbye with the bonus round. This will be a forty minute video now. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like we had to do that because I I don't know. I didn't I don't know I don't wanna speak for you, but I felt like I left a lot of things on the table that I wanted to say still. Mm, I think I said everything I could think of. Now so. I have. Now I have. Now you have two. Alright. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this bonus round. Sorry. Um this twenty minute bonus round of Lizzie and Zach, Manga Hunting number two. Yes. Join us next time. Hopefully next time we can do it in 20 minutes again. And hopefully it'll be a better one. We are kind but of tired today. these books are pretty. Wee! Wee. Bye. Bye! For me to break I'm a chef shifter At post masquerade I'd aim both face and mind Free for you to draw. I'm a chef shifter.